hey guys welcome back to another video i hope everyone is doing fabulous today big up big up big up i wanted to open the perfume i bought over the weekend so you guys came along when you know i got the burberry hair and i wanted to unbox it and smell it just to make sure i made the right choice in purchasing it i did go into the store to get the ysl libre intense i didn't get it because i have the dupe for it which smells it smells so similar so i'm like should i get back the dupe or should i actually invest and buy the real thing i i haven't decided i got my perfume from dillard and it's the same price because i checked online mace is all of them same price so this is the burberry hair and i got the 100 milliliter bottle so i'm just going to unbox this now and remember guys to like up the video share up the video and if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit the bell select all notification guys so the moment there's a new video you're the first to know all right let's get into it before i actually open it she also gave me a few samples she gave me the small milliliter this i can you know travel with in my purse or have in the car i just feel like when i buy perfumes you always get the same samples over and over and over like mark jacobs daisy you'll always get this sample when you buy your perfume i don't know what you guys do with your samples you know but i travel with them in my purse yeah any little way this is the gucci bloom all right so let's smell so this is what the bottle looks like so now that we unpackage it i am just going to read to you what they are saying it smells like so they say berber hair is described as a fruity floral garment with a raspberry cherry strawberry blackberry blueberry violet jasmine woods musk and amber so i guess that is why i kind of like it because it's florally but it still has that musky woody undertone to it which i usually go for so they say uh the idea was to lighten it up almost like a whipped cream to find the sweet note and make it dry and airy so it's like the best of both worlds so let's go ahead and smell it just as how it smelled in the store so i am no pro at describing scent but i like what i like and i know what i like and i like this so it smells as they say it has that florally scent but then the musky garment scent undertone smells really good it's the lady in the store she said it's oil based it's all the perfume so i'm expecting it to last i will do a, if you're interested i'll do a wear test the other fragrance i brought here is because when i was in the store i was telling you guys about the tom ford black orchid so let me go online and see what they're saying about this one because this and this is it for me personally, this is a staple. I don't buy the 100 milliliter just because it's not something that I wear every day. I will take forever and a day to go through this bottle. It's not an everyday perfume. Like, I wouldn't want to go out and smell anybody smelling like this in the daytime. It is just too strong. So, I would say the perfect evening scent, the perfect date night just if you want to make your presence felt this is it if you want someone to say what are you wearing or if you want to turn heads when you walk past somebody this is a sense and again i know it's not for everybody because i know some people say it's just way too strong for no reason okay so for the black orchid they say it has a profile that is similar to incense a common note in bold fragrances the fragrance gets its name from its exotic florine notes you'll recognize scents like french jasmine truffle black currant citrus it's an exotic blend that evokes sensuality and the orient 
I agree. I think it is very strong and they say black orchid is for women or men and it's a fruity, they say it's a spicy fruity perfume which I agree and that is why I say it's in the floral family but it's not that sweet airy girly floral so I wouldn't wear it every day. I wear this for like date nights. So many times in the day I would put my hand to, uh, as if I'm going to grab it and oops nope not you <laughs> right because I am not wearing this in the day in the evening date night I would say first date you want a man to feel like say you know nice things you're used to the good things them and you like to smell good I would wear this personally the 100 milliliter for this I paid $128 plus tax of course about $128 and for the Tom Ford, this is the 50 milliliter and I think it's the same price. So the Tom Ford 50 milliliter is the price of the Burberry Her 100 milliliter. So that says something. Anyway, guys, I just really wanted to smell the perfume again to make sure I was happy with my purchase and I'm happy, happy with it. So today I don't really have much planned. Right now I'm just going to do breakfast, drink some tea, probably make a shake today for breakfast and then just move around go along with the day and of course i'm taking you guys with me so whether it's a hectic day or a calm day we are gonna experience it together all right so i'm gonna just drink some tea and now i'm gonna do a shake so i am going to do oats open i can't see i'm gonna do oats with frozen banana almond milk peanut butter it tastes really good you can add protein powder to it but i'm not really adding a protein powder mine finish boa protein powder but it's kind of too sweet and with the peanut butter the banana what i will do though i use agave i am going to put a little bit of this in it to give it a little sweetness okay guys so these are my ingredients oats i'm going to put some cinnamon powder my agave for sweetening peanut butter if i had the chunky one i would have used it but this is just the creamy one still can use a dash of turmeric because i'm gonna try to add turmeric in every little thing my almond milk i'm using the big cup today for the bullet so i'm going to use a measuring a measuring cup this is half cup so i'm going to do about a cup of the oats and this and then i freeze my banana because when you freeze it, it just makes it creamier and thicker. And plus, I'm going to add about two or three ice cubes in this. I like to put in the liquid first so that nothing sticks. So. So that's my little drink guys and it is really good usually i would make it a bit thicker but right now i'm trying to watch my banana intake so i did like a quarter but you can do a half or even a whole of frozen banana if you want plus i didn't do any protein powder so that kind of took away from the thickness but it's still pretty thick very very nice very creamy and usually i would do oats in the morning but i kind of got tired of it so now I'm kind of incorporating the oats as like a smoothie to kind of switch things up. So I'm just going to enjoy my little smoothie right now. Get ready and get dressed and head on out for the day. Okay guys, so I'm in my local beauty supply store. And I got a request to talk about things that I use for my wigs. Just because you know, I am a self-sufficient girl i started doing my hair out of necessity because i just moved here and i didn't know any hairdresser and i just started doing my own hair and i was blessed enough to know i'm getting paid and getting promotions to advertise brands hair brands so you see what i'm saying i don't know what i'm saying self-sufficiency 
necessities the uh, art of invention whatever whatever anyway i'm just going to show you a few other things that is a must have for doing your own hair now it goes without saying you are going to need curling iron and you're going to need hot comb hot comb necessity and you're going to need flat iron now what i will do i will link them in the description so if it's easier to buy them online you can get them online so that's that so for curly hair you definitely need your moves they have a different variety i use this one to get the curls back in the hair in general this is the mousse i use in my curly hair because it doesn't give it that wet look it just redefines the curls one thing i've been neglectful in using is heat protector sis use heat protector it will let your wigs last longer especially if you do a lot of flat ironing and curling heat protector oh, what would it be without got to be this one i've tried but it's wetty wetty it doesn't hold your hair so i don't use this this is good for your edges this is good to lay your edges because it works it won't lift your lace so this is a good option for your edges i use a got to be glued spray to hold on my lace this is good if you don't live in a very hot area it's not a hot day you just want to snap your wig on and take it off at the end of the night you can use your got to be glued spray and this is the foaming lotion i use for my edges nairobi yeah this don't lift the lace so this is really good lay your edges lay your baby here good and then kind of the last important things i've incorporated nowadays is lace spray so i've been using the ebin tinted lace spray i use the medium dark brown and the other one that i use which is just the dark brown i don't see it here i tried this i don't like it it comes out very dark very very dark even the light ones i don't really like that then sis you're going to need yourself some tweezers only a dollar 99 so and you guys will hear me talk about using my concealer on the lace i just use the la girls to redefine the parting of my hair and i use the color either toffee or fawn So either one of these the fun is a bit lighter yeah and that's basically it guys those are some of the necessities you need if you're going to be doing your own lace all right guys so right now i'm at the mall i'm about to do a little bit of shopping i need to pick up gifts so i'm here to do with that plus i skims have this three-piece set that i wanted right well i was going to pay all that money for it right now so i was trying to get the dupe for it which they have on amazon for like 50 dollars but they're saying i can't get it by christmas and i was wanting to like wear it probably christmas morning you know but i won't get it till after christmas i did spot the set in jc penny it's more like a chocolate brown not that beige color but still i would probably just get the chocolate brown color and done not sure how much it is because jc penny kind of pricey as well but hopefully 50 are less because i'm willing to pay the 50 dollars because it's, it's three pieces right now it's 12 30 so when i leave the mall i'm going to probably pick up some food and eat some lunch but honestly like <laughs> every time i really think the next week at christmas is like i feel like where did the year go like probably one of the fastest year since forever and apart from that it's just i feel like the year just it just it just go and personally with that happening it's like right now it's coming to the end of the year beginning of a new year you know i don't know about you but for me i start sitting down and i start making plans and seeing you know my goals i had for the beginning of the year and where i'm at now and i am just ready for the new year to start i really am just ready i just feel like that seasonal depression is kicking in and usually for me it is it hits me around my birthday in january but i feel like this year it's it's creeping up a bit faster than usual i don't know it's like i just feel so it's like everything i'm having so much self-doubt right now like honestly it's like i want to make some moves and some choices and some decisions and i'm just 
for the first time i feel a lot of self-doubt and i'm questioning so many things too i'm like you know decisions i've made in the past i'm like did i make the right decision how this is i guess i don't know if it's as you get older you become less of like a risk taker so maybe that's it but i'm just feeling very 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 doubtful about things that i want to do but I keep going back to that same mindset that I've always had and the number one thing for me is I don't want to wake up at 50, 60, 70, well hopefully I'm blessed enough to live that long, right? But I don't want to wake up at 50 or 60 or 70 or even at 40 and feel regretful like i don't want to say you know regret doing this or i don't want to regret not doing this you know what i mean but you know there are so many decisions that i've made and i've made them for people sometimes i'm sitting down i'm like did i make the right decision and sometimes i don't make a decision because i'm like i don't know how people around me will take it and i don't want to disappoint anybody but I just have to go back to the core of myself and say, I need to make these decisions for me. Like, I need to be happy. You know? So that's kind of where I'm at right now, mentally. As I said, I just want the new year to begin. And I'm really looking to shake up my life a bit. I'm really looking to, like, do what I really want to do and make some changes you know because i'm just first of all i feel like i'm so overworked i feel like i'm taking on guys i feel like i'm taking on so much like you see i've been posting 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 like if i'm going through something personal i'm posting if i'm having a down day i'm posting i just you know i i'm having a down day like even the other day my supervisor said to me like you don't take sick day like you don't take time off like take some time off you know it's like i'm just i'll just go 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 and i really it's like i'm working 24 hours per day i sleep but when i wake up i'm trying to do youtube in the mornings and i have work at night i work from 4 30 to 1 a.m and i'm just i don't want to burn out like i don't want to look stressed out or start age before time but nothing is wrong with aging <laughs> let me say that nothing is wrong with aging but i just feel like i'm overworking myself and then i'm like why am i taking on so much on my plate but guys i don't know about you but i'm ready for the new year i'm ready why may i have such a problem with the lighting probably need to turn this back up but yeah i don't know but ooh, may i talk for 10 minutes is this a counseling session guys let's go do some shopping so guys, these are the sets I told you I saw in JCPenney, but I mean, the material look the same, like the skims almost, but I mean the top look the same too, right, the top look the same, but the, the skims one is like a camisole, however this is like a hoodie. I'm gonna want to kind of like a hoodie. $39 for the pants. And the top, $24. I did for Amazon for $50. Plus, that are just for two peas. I probably just not. Yeah, just get it from Amazon. Guys, remember my Walmart jeggings this is it this is how it fit look here if you have thick legs struggle because it now have no button and no zip but i actually like it you can pair it with white but i decided to pair it with this which i actually like all right guys so i left the mall and run come at tj max um just to browse around a little and my peep some coach bags which i gonna show you of course but usually most other people talk about seeing brands in here i usually see like Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, DKNY, but now me still like coach and me hear other people say them say like YSL in here so when I know I might get lucky today, I don't know so this is a must, you know $99.99, $100 coach 
150. Um, what's this now? Michael Kors. That's not the usual. I don't want to see the Michael Kors. This was the first one I looked at. It's like a coach tote bag. $149.99. Coach again. And this too. So basically, all of them are the same style. $150. I guess my shop because I never ever MK and this is another machine hundred dollar. I've never seen any brand apart from the ones I'm gonna tell you about in a TJ Maxx. So it's kind of shocking. Over here, of course, you know the MKs. Oh, this are the MK section. Ralph Lauren. One ten. This is a nice like traveling bag, right? Yeah. Another coach tote bag. One fifty. They have it in the white. The white kind of cute. Actually, I like the white. Yeah, I like the white. The white is nice. But yeah, they're going with themselves, so I need a color anyway. So at the mall, I kind of get gifts, but in here, I'm going to look if I see anything for myself, like a more shopping on a budget type of shopping. So I'm in TJ Maxx right now. People are still probably like me crazy, so I'm probably put up the camera and just record on my phone. The phone, they probably think me on a video call. They may not say, who do I talk to? <laughs> so it starts to get really awkward really fast guys how pretty are these so cute like updo ponytail or hairstyle where your you earring is actually show i think this is a very cute only 9.99 I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. What do you guys think? White and gold. I really like them. I don't know. I'm going to take it. I don't care what I want to say. I'm going to take it. Some necklaces. I don't know. The camera now picked them up properly. But I like this kind of chunky. And it's only $14.99. We have this one too. Looks like love. Like all of this are $14.99 guys this is it this is this piece is 14.99 people always take out their own uh, cell phone but i ain't never seen nobody <laughs> take out a whole camera <laughs> 24 <laughs> yeah oh i like it all right can i have it please oh, of course you can thank you and it looks good on you too thank you i don't think i like that chunkier one i'll just send this yeah. 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 Guys, we get so many compliments when I hear here. So many compliments, like Mina Dillard. It's and this elderly lady. She looked really good. Look good, nice nails up and thing. She has shop for her grandkids. She like, whoa, you look just like my granddaughter. And she like, I love your hair. Who did it for you? Will they do mine? I said, I did. I did it myself. She said, Can you do mine for me, please? <laughs> I'm like, I have. I've never done here on anybody else but me, so I wouldn't want to jack, jack you up. So, but I get so many compliments on it. It's very nice, I like it. Anyway, back to the shopping. You know, I really need something like these, or even these. Because we're doing the videos and the hair stuff, I have no a lot of hair. So, so this little me is so good just for have it like I'm a desk or I'm like a section and have like you know my different gels and uh, and lace spray. Duh, duh, duh. These this little me is really really good. Fifty dollar. This is like a smaller one, but why it looks so flimsy? I hope them actually good. One thing about me, I like have a nice pair of 
We call it a Jamaica diamond chip earring. I like a nice pair of diamond chip earring. I actually like that set here because my ears pierced a couple times, but my only ever wear earring in the first, my first piercing, the first hole. This is cute. Twelve ninety nine. It have like that butterfly one. I'm actually sitting on a bowl. Probably gonna take this. Yeah, cute. The last time I come and buy something almost like this. They're very cute. Cute to wear. I actually like this. So I know the pins kinda in as an earring, but this is cute. How much this is $12.99? I like this as well. Even though with my face, with my face shape, you're probably not gonna even see this. But it's cute. Actually like it. As a gift too. We could have gift this to somebody who you know more unusual. I would take it but when I think it would have fit my face because this would have swallow up. It wouldn't show. Right now I'm about to go through with the rack, which is no fun but you can actually find good things. Like a lot of my shirts then. I find inside TJ Maxx or Ross, but you have to have the time and go through because you can actually find you can actually find good stuff. So I'm able to do that no so I'm go like put you guys one side. <laughs> no disrespect, but I'm gonna put it down and start going through these. Go through the rocks. Do you have a little Christmas party? This is like a nice like a Christmas party themed skirt with a candy cane, the decoration. It should be a full suit though, but just find it jack up somewhere right here. So, so maybe it's like a suit, who knows? Somebody was considering getting it and them just leave it here. So them decide last minute. Nope, I'm not going to get this. <laughs> okay, so never have much luck. <laughs> Announcement. Never have much luck with the clothes section today. Didn't find anything. So now I'm at the. Oh, this looks nice. Foot massage, a friend for his workout. Okay, so now I'm in like the spa section, personal care section. Foot mask. $4.99. Coconut and lavender. I'm going to try this one. Oleology. I'm going to try it today. This look good. Hyalur Hyaluronic and collagen sheet mask. And five per minute. It says it's probably you guys can't see, but it's a powerful ingredient. Address signs of aging. Hmm. Um, delivers hydration, moisture to dry skin, restores a tired complexion. It white sound like it had this year at the same time. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. Um, for 99 You can't always get good lashes for cheap. Like this are from Carla. $6.99. For like five pair of lashes. They even have eye lower. I'm going to get the number 15. I'll try it added in. It's a And then brushes, like my would I do well with another set of brushes just because me I do my makeup more often now and then sometimes the dirty I have two sets but I could have do well with another set. And guys they have MK watches locked away. One hundred dollar them actually nice more blingy. I like them. I like the coach one here. One twenty. Oh, Joseph TJ Mask got my retail therapy in, so I'm feeling much better. I'm in a much better mood, much better vibe. I have work in about two hours' time, so I have to go home to a clock in. I'm not doing any cooking today, so I might stop and get food. So, usually for lunch, I've been doing like salads salad 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 no i'm very much into like a chicken caesar salad but the cheese 
I am not a fan of cheese, so I tell them in a light cheese, a light dressing, but I've been doing my chicken Caesar salads for lunch or just a garden salad. But today for some reason I feel for a nice curried chicken with white rice. That is what I'm feeling for. And up here, I'm telling you, the cooking is not the same. The taste is not the same. Like when mommy sent the fish the other day and me eat mommy fish, my buy after because the fish them done. The last two were brown stew it down. So cook it down with gravy and so uh, nice. But yeah, the cooking up here is not the same. Like my buy a fish from a restaurant, brown stew fish and rice and peas, and I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat it off because it's like it not tastes the same. The fish it just different. Anyway, I feel for a nice curry chicken and white rice. So I'm going to go to this restaurant named DNG. I check them out. Uh, at the mall, I did do a little shopping. Um, and I feel, oh, ow. I need to go my P.O. box. But I'm feeling much in much better mood. I tell you, so shopping, it does something. And even though I wasn't shopping for myself, that is why when I was at the mall, my lip gloss, my lip dry. My lip dry, bud. Hold on, eh? This one. I'm telling about this one already. It's from Milani. So I didn't do everything I wanted. Mm, my lip dry. I'm hungry. <laughs> my hungry, I know mine. Oh, God. Wait, so why is it take milk? Anyway, guys, let me go get my food and so I can go home, relax a little before work starts. So I'm going to keep you guys with me so I can show you the curry chicken. A small curry chicken with white rice, please. This is the restaurant with all the meats and everything. Hi! <laughs> There's a subscriber that works in here too. This is the curry chicken. No leg, please. No leg, yeah. Yeah, gravy and rice and some carrots. Yeah, my like carrots. Okay, guys, so that's it for the rolling spot today. I mean, even though I'm up and down, I'm not bad for my water. Three o'clock, and it's approximately three o'clock right now. So I'm not too bad for the water. I'm just get my food just get my food my curry chicken and i'm about to head on home right now eat chill little and then clock in for work anyway guys hope you enjoyed this little vlog remember just do did do like up the video share up the video guys and if you're not already subscribed i don't know where you are weird pan if you reach the end of the video why you not subscribe i don't know but please go ahead hit the subscribe button guys hit the bell so you're notified whenever there's a new video thank you guys so much for your support guys i really appreciate your support thank you so much much you know know that i've incorporated here videos on my channel and some of you are always commenting giving me that motivation kim the ear them fit you kim yeah get better i just thank you guys so much because this wouldn't be possible without you and i don't want you to ever feel like i don't appreciate you because every single day i give god thanks for you so i just pray blessings and prosperity on you and your family i hope you guys have a happy holiday i know you were probably looking forward to seeing you know decorating and all that for christmas i mean probably when we have our own place you know i'll i'll be able to incorporate more you know more of those type of videos i'm looking really really forward to that but love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye guys